Yeah, I mean, I, th- I think, um, you know, sort of profoundly sort of uh, uh, architecture is sort of the, the art and science of continually uh, refurbishing the surface of our planet so it actually fits to, to the way we want to live. Um, and, you know, if, uh, if our cities and our buildings don't really fit to, uh, to our lifestyle and as our sort of lifestyle changes and as sort of society evolves, uh, we constantly have to sort of uh, uh, re- re-modify and make sure that our cities actually to fit to, to this life. Um, in a way, you can say that sort of the, the immaterial institutions of society, like political, social, economic institutions, um, we, we sort of help translating them into physical form and sort of creating the, the physical framework for, for human life. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky one. I mean, I also, I think we, we rarely talk much about uh, beauty or ugly. Um, I, I think one of the main problems of the architectural debate is that uh, it quite often um, remains on just, uh, you know, looking at the final result, uh, sort of contemplating the architectural object. Is, uh, is it beautiful? Is it ugly? Does it look like something I know or does it look strange? Uh, like, rather, I'm much more into this idea of uh, uh, what a building or a city actually does for its inhabitants, like how does it channel the flow of, uh, of people uh, through its streets or, uh, or its spaces and, um, and does, it, does it trigger uh, social encounters, does it uh, create places where, where people like to hang out, does it provide qualities such as you know, something as banal as like uh, what if you could have an apartment where you could actually run out uh, into the garden and play even though you're living on the 10th floor. So, um, so in a way sort of I think it's much more interesting to see the, the architecture as a, as a tool or an instrument um, for, uh, for, for human life. I, basically, I like this basic idea that architecture is not the goal, but the bridge to reach that goal. Can you explore a little more on that? The bridge to... Yeah, no, it's, it's essentially... Um, I mean, I, 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 I borrowed it uh, from, uh, from, from, from Nietzsche talking about philosophy. Uh, but um, let's say like... Um, uh, the, the purpose of an architect or architecture uh, is not to produce more architecture but it is to use the architecture as a means to reach an end and the end is uh, sort of the maximum uh, unfolding of, of, of human life so um, in a way quite often when we start a project we try to observe um, like a, what, uh, what do people want, what do they like to do um, is, is, uh, is the, the normal uh, city or the normal building stopping them from doing it or is it actually allowing them to do it? And how could we sort of manipulate and transform our cities so they actually uh, create more possibilities for human life instead of restricting it, uh, restricting it and sort of putting it into separate uh, boxes? Yeah, actually I think specifically that um, you know, the, the, the media uh, loves conflict, like it's always more fun to write uh, about somebody fighting than somebody being in harmony. Uh, and as a result, politicians that require media presence to be remembered at, on election day, uh, they somehow all also engage in conflicts where they sort of constantly say the opposite of, uh, of the other politicians so they can get some, uh, some coverage. And I think design and architecture actually has the potential to analyze differences and try to sort of incorporate all these different demands like uh, the neighbors that uh, are afraid that the, a new building is going to cast a shadow on them uh, the local people that would like to have like uh, sun and, and good views and you know uh, maybe some some kids in the neighborhood that would like to have a public park and you basically try to take all these different demands you know the developer who wants to make a profit and instead of like seeing it as a conflict that is resolved into sort of a sort of opposition and stalemate to tie together into uh, integrated symbiotic relationships um, like a, a specific example is we did this project that is like a, a hybrid of a, a parking structure and a, an apartment building something you would normally see as, as opposites but by combining them uh, the parking becomes like a, a almost like a mountain uh, upon which you can build uh, homes that are almost like houses with gardens so uh, in a way in the middle of flat Copenhagen we could use the the volume of the cars to create a uh, almost like a south-facing slope with a, with a view. So essentially constantly to try to find 
these potentials for uh, symbiosis and try to combine things and exploit the differences rather than, uh, than separating them.